Hey Fit Like YouTube, welcome back to another episode. Okay, so today what I'm going to do is I'm going to modify this tank that I'm going to use for mixing my salt water. So lately I've been using the bucket. I've got like a big black bucket. I use that, my power head. And this is the tank that I was going to use for the clownfish babies, but I've got a new tank for them. So this one, I'm going to modify this so that I can use this to do my water changes. So my idea is I'm going to attach this float valve so then I can just connect the RO unit tube straight to it, let it fill up and don't hate to worry about it overflowing and flooding the place. And then I can just disconnect that, throw in my salt, mix it all up. And then I'm going to use a hose with an attachment, which I can just stick into this tank and then just let gravity drop it down into the display tank. So there's going to be no mayor having to plug in blooming pumps and pump water for the bucket into the tank. So it's just going to be awesome. So I'm just going to go ahead and fit this float valve. Now I don't want it to be too high up because I like to hear a bit of gap from the water uh, surface uh, so that I can allow for the salt going in and if I need to adjust because I usually make my mix quite strong so that I can adjust and add mere RO water just if I'm needing mere water which I'm probably going to need if I can get these clownfish breathing. So I'll just get a wee starter hole here, then I'm going to remove this so that I can, right I've removed it so I can drill, drill it easier and uh, just get around this off a wee bit of mirror. and then hopefully that float valve should fit in and just trim off this burrs, sticky wee bitties. Now my mother's probably looking and thinking, what are you doing to my tank? <laughs> it's all right, relax mother, it's gonna work out fine. <laughs> Trust me. That'll do. Right. Let's try this float valve. It's a wee bit of tight kind, but it should screw in. And the ideal thing with this is it just needs to be held in place because it doesn't matter if it leaks because it's all inside the, the tank anyway. So it's fine. Yep, I think that's going to do. Just tighten up a wee bit. Okay, so that's the float valve fitted, it's in place, just get it onto the tank now, and I'll add the RO tube in. In there. I'm just going to fit this wee motor back on now. Try and mind how it goes now. Oh, hang on. I think I need to take that wee bit out there. Touch it to the pump first, I think. A wee bit because you spin it and you can adjust the speed of it. Right. Start again. That's it. <laughs> 
Right, should go in new. Okay, so here's my RO cable or tubing. So I'm just going to attach it to my RO unit. And then we'll just drag it up the stairs. Hopefully there's no leaks. <laughs> Right up the stairs we go. I've probably got way too much tube in here, like, but never mind. Put the camera back on the tripod. Hang on. So I'll get this attached, but then I'll probably cut it at some point and just put a wee valve so I can control it via up here. Okay, so I've got it on. I've got the, the valve I want in here, but I will change that later on. So I'll just go and switch it on and hopefully the blooming thing works and there's no leaks. I'll stick you back on the tripod. And I'll go and switch it on. The wire. Right, air she blows. I edited the video because it took a while for all the water to get through all that tubing up into the up into the display, but I've checked all the connections, there's no leaks, so it's absolutely spot on. So just get to leave this new until the, the tanky fills up. And just get the heater in place ready. So looking good, jobs are good in. As long as the water stops when it hits that valve. <laughs> Yay! Perfect. I had to turn my, my float a wee bit to the side just so I could get a wee bit of more water because it was a wee bit lower than I like. But that still gives me plenty of room for adding my salt extra water if I need to. So, yep, very happy. So that's turned out perfect. It's going to make life a lot easier when it comes to water changes. Cool. Okay, so I've just switched on the wee pump and I forgot about the water that's going to be in this filter compartment. So with that going on and filling that up, it's switched the RO unit on again so it's busy filling up the whatever amount of water's in there. So just as well, I left a bit of a gap, like, just to compensate for when that gets switches off, switched off, getting ready for the water changing up. Right, so here's the thing I'm going to use. So I've got this off my old Tetra Tech 1200 filter, I think it was. So I've connected my hose. Just stick this in uh, once I make my salty water. And then I'm just going to run this hose all the way down. Down the stairs. And then I'm just going to hear this going straight into my display tank. All right, Diesel. Who's a good boy? Who's a buddy shite? Nah, just ignore him. Usual. He's an old man, I knew. Right, so here's my hose, and then once I've got the water change, I can just stick it in here. And there's no pumps, no hint of switch things on and off, so that'll be a boost, like. 
So I'll just use this bucket when I come around to it. And this holds 30 litres like I showed you before. Okay, so I'm just going to do a voiceover this section. Uh, just got a few things that I, I, I want to say. Now, Matthew Jackson, here's the salt that I'm using. Aquaforus Probiotic Reef Salt. And maybe asking, why on earth are you mixing mere salt? Well, the reason I'm mixing mere salt is because the clownfish, I can tell that the female looks as if she's full of eggs and she's desperately wanting to lay them. However, she's just nay happy with me hanging that tiles on the back. And they're really frustrated because they keep really going to town trying to get them shifted. So instead of trying to force them to lay on something that they're not happy laying on, um, and then me stressing that I can't catch the babies when they lay them on the back class, I think what I'm going to do is I've got another tank. I've got a Fluval Flex 54, I think it's called. I'm going to set that up, get that sponge filter I've had in my sump for a while, get that put into the into the flex, take 40 litres out of the display, then add this newly mixed salt tomorrow into that, and then hopefully I'll be able to just catch the clowns, stick them in the flex, let them breed in that tank, and then once the eggs are about to hatch, I'll take the clownfish out, put them back into the dead man's chest, and then hopefully touch wood, I'll be left with a wee baby fry in that tank, in the fish room, right next to the rotifers, where I can easily feed them and take care of them. So, that's the plan anyway. So, we'll see if it works. <laughs> anyway, that's pretty much it for this episode. So, till the next one, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.